Disney might be learning and the rumor mill is afoot. Will this be to Johnny Depp's dismay or not? Although I am super, super happy that the man won against the harlot known as Hurt. I think that if the rumors pan out, which as right now they're just rumors, that he goes back and does a Pirates of the Caribbean movie, I think that that would be a colossal, colossal misstep. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Why would you say that? Why would you say that, A Drink With Crazy? Well, because I have beer. And I can say that. And let's get into the news of the day, which there are about 5,000 articles right now. I actually went through a few over here and just couldn't decide which one that I wanted to read. So I'm not going to read any of them. So if you guys are on YouTube or social media at all, uh, it will be very apparent to everybody that Margot Robbie came out and said that apparently Disney is canceling the all-female Pirates of the Caribbean, which... <clears throat> They already did that. Well, never mind. We're not gonna <clears throat> we're not gonna visit that part of the internet tonight. Anyway, I digress. But <clears throat> with the cancellation of the all female, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean, which everybody knew at the time was just not a good idea, and because of all the financial shenanigans happening throughout the world, they actually had to hold on to this project for a little bit longer than they probably wanted to, and so they weren't able to release it. Now, with the monolithic court case that happened this last year, where Johnny Depp actually won against Amber Heard and was found innocent because, well, she crazy. And, like, good, because that's, you know, wow, there's actually some fairness in our court system. Who would have thunk it? But I have to ask this question. It's something that I mentioned in my Logan video uh, last week, the week before, either way, or in the Deadpool 3 video. I think that these actors, these aging actors coming back and trying to do the roles that they were, well, in for 20 years, I think is a mistake occasionally you can get away with it. You know, Tom Cruise pulled off, you know, Top Gun Maverick, you know, uh, which, which is fine, you know, but he didn't do that necessarily that role for 20 years. Now, then again, he is doing the Mission Impossible roles. However, there is a little bit of a difference there with, you know, Tom Cruise just, well, I don't, I, I don't know what Scientology magic is there playing on that man that he's just held together at this point, but they're still doing it. But my problem with this is, it seems like we're entering into nostalgia bait. Hey guys, are you excited that Johnny won that case against, you know, the, the horrible harlot known as Herd? Well, check it out. He is now in a new Pirates movie, which the last Pirates movie wasn't that good. Hell, the one before that wasn't that good. Like, they keep making these movies and they're... the the. the the quality was already diminishing. Do we really feel that Johnny Depp running back to the people who betrayed him, who kind of stabbed him in the back, who fired him, wouldn't fire her, even though the accusations were pretty much equal across the board? Well, until they got into the courtroom and then it got insane. Like, do we really feel that Johnny Depp running back to the people who cast him aside, who threw him away like a used piece of garbage, even though he was the like one of the biggest draws for their movies is a good thing? Do we really think that that's something that should be celebrated in our society? I certainly don't. I think that if Johnny Depp wants to come back to the big screen, maybe get something new. Maybe get something not heard of before. Maybe actually write a good story where you can have this man act the way that he used to and bring it to the screen a fantastic character, a fantastic new character. I mean, and then again, I'm kind of against this whole taking guys that are in their 60s and having them play characters from when they were in their 30s or, well, I guess 40s maybe. Like, I, again, it's I, I'm not really a fan of it. I think that this is nostalgia bait. I think that they know it's nostalgia bait and it gives them the out to not tell a good story. So although Margot Robbie's film for the all female pirates, which <laughs> not going to that side of the Internet tonight, but although that film is not coming out, we do have to ask the question, does it really matter? Pirates of the Caribbean was not good some may argue after the first I don't know I still dig the first three but definitely the first one is the best the issue with this is it's going to give them carte blanche to have the laziest writing ever 
and the only and what we're going to see is Johnny Depp's glorious return to Captain Jack Sparrow. It's probably going to be a bad movie. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <clears throat> and I'll absolutely say that I'm wrong. Who knows? Maybe it's the best of all of them. I doubt it. Just the caliber of writing lately hasn't been there. But also, you know, Johnny Depp saying he would never work with these people again. And then with the rumor mill afoot, do we really think that he would go back on it? Will Johnny Depp stand up? Well, I think he's, I'm pretty sure he said that he wouldn't go back to them. And there was somewhere that he's, that there was somewhere that it was said that he said that. I don't know. I don't remember the source. I heard it during the whole trial thing. But we really have to consider here. Is this something that we want to pigeonhole the great actors of our time into? Hey, instead of creating new characters, you know, like you used to do, why don't you just keep playing that one character that I really liked in like when you first came out with that character? No, I mean, the law of diminishing returns is going to catch up to these people eventually. I mean, I understand that there are a lot of people excited that he won his, you know, case against, you know, the harlot herd. But we also have to think here, what is this going to do for our storytelling? How does this advance our storytelling? Does it advance our storytelling? I really don't think that it does. And although a lot of people are like, wow, yeah, Johnny Depp could come back as Captain Jack Sparrow. And he should. He really shouldn't. He should leave Captain Jack Sparrow where he was. Just let that character be. There's no need to continue with that character. Why don't we see a new character? Something that... Maybe he's very passionate about, maybe a book that he read, maybe a character that he really, really loves. And watch this man bring that character to the screen in some epic tale. Now, because it would have the star power of Johnny Depp, it may give them a little carte blanche to do some lazy writing, but not as much as him coming back with the nostalgia bait of Captain Jack Sparrow. So really, with all the news around this, yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to say that I'm happy or sad or anything that, you know, the all female pirates was canceled because I didn't have a dog in that fight. But I did like the Pirates of the Caribbean up to a certain point. I do like a lot of the movies that Johnny Depp has been in, at least the ones that I've seen him in. I don't think there's a bad movie that I've ever seen him in, to be perfectly honest. But that being said, what do you guys think? I think that honestly, they're just using this in this rumor mill and they're testing the waters right now. I think that they've released this out into the public and they are testing the waters to see they're doing market research right now. They're trying to see how many people out there are just losing their minds over him running back to the people who dismissed him like a piece of trash, right? And it's something that would sadden me deeply. This man has already lived a hell of a life with the amount of, you know, abuses that he has suffered and i'm not talking about the physical ones i'm talking about more of the you know the drugs right the drugs the alcoholism just people using him left and right for his money his fame his fortune like and you kind of saw that in the trial the guy you know he's been used and abused a lot will he let these people use him again and i know that may sound harsh but guess what i don't know the guy i can only go off what i see on tv so what do you guys think? Let me know down below because I really want to have this conversation. Do you guys think that it's a good idea for Johnny Depp to return as Captain Jack Sparrow? Or should he just let that character go? Let Warner Brothers just have that character. He shouldn't. I, I don't think that he should return to the people who dismissed him and treated him as such. I think that that's terrible. That's like, you know, that's like being fired from a job from a horrible boss, then they go out and they say bad things about you. Oh, and by the way, they won't fire the harlot who did the exact same things that you did, right? And then they come back and they go, hey, but we'll give you money. Really? What a terrible way to run supposedly the reincarnation of his career. Well, I don't know. Those are my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Don't forget to comment when I said let me know down below, okay? I love reading your comments. And in fact, I dedicate a special live stream every Sunday to reading your comments because I believe if you guys spend time on me and take time out of your day to go down and comment on my videos, I owe it to you to do the same. So I want to hear what you guys think about this topic. Are you excited about it? Are you not excited about it? Are you in the middle about it? Do you even care? All right. And never, ever forget to go out and make sure you support the smaller creators, right? Got to throw that one in there. I got a lot of people 
that are absolutely excited. They're writing new stories. They're creating new things. And the Iron Age is upon us. Who knows? Maybe we could see Johnny Depp play an Iron Age character. In fact, what Iron Age character would you like to see Johnny Depp play? Let me know down below if you guys are in on the Iron Age and you know what's going on with that whole situation. But ladies and gentlemen, never forget, if you really like what I'm doing here, hit that subscribe button and like the video for me. It definitely helps the YouTube algorithm because YouTube, I don't know, I like to live stream and I like to do videos and YouTube does not like that. YouTube wants to pigeonhole me into one style or the other. Well, you know what? Guess what? I don't care, YouTube. I'm going to do this because live streams give me the ability to interact with my audience and these videos give me the ability to just blindly rant about the things that I am most likely ignorant about on the internet because why not? So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.